Another Sunday in the household of the Lopez. Um, today, today I am going to be cutting my kids' hair, so maybe you guys will join me down to my barber shop for that. But before the haircuts, I need to start on laundry, of course. It's Sunday. You know how it is here. Laundry never ends. Barbershop, welcome to my mini barbershop. Let me give you a really quick hey, tour. Hey, hey, um, start chair. Hey, okay, so that's just uh, my little quick setup my mirror, my clips, my scissors, and my other stuff. So the first runner up is. Jessica, they're both going to take a haircut. This one over here. Kain. Mm -hmm. And the elf. No, leave to Peter. Just a little disclosure. I am not a professional. I do not cut hair for a living. I just started cutting hair, like again, like making cakes many years ago. Maybe like six years ago. Just saving money on haircuts. So I have not paid for my children's haircut for about six years now. And that was enough to save me up to buy my own clips and continue saving money till this day. So that's why I cut hair. What? You want a haircut? <laughs> and then we have this one waiting over here too, Chippy, for a haircut. Uh, wait, hair. Guess what, guys? I got another client for today. There's my, there's my other client who's going to get another haircut. Me too, Mommy. You got your mom's permission? Yeah. Mommy, this one's me. waiting too. And that one over there. Just Look and I don't have to wait because I'm already doing it. Second one. Just gotta finish up this <laughs> one and we're good to go. Why does it smell like that? Um, Maya, look! I turned into a bad guy! You're so hairy, so I have to use a knife on you. I just know it's not a bad guy. Don't mind that, guys. That's just the little ones playing over here that don't listen. This is the fake hat. You have a lot of dry skin, bud. Does it hurt? Because you have a lot of dry skin. Mommy! I'm done? Just about. We're just finishing up with your brother here and just lining him, him up. You really have a lot of dry skin. Oh! Put, put my eye inside my brain. Is that your brain? It's like poking my eye in. Whatever, you're not a professional. No, you don't. You don't need to be. You're like poking my eye with your finger. Oh, gosh, folks, you said you're not playing anymore. Yes, Mama. Oh, oh, it's doing it. You said you're not playing anymore. Okay, I 
think we're done. Okay. Alright, we got my next client. And what's your name, young lady? Maya. Maya, and you're here for what? Um, I wanted to cut it off because um, my hair gets too curly. I want to cut it off. We're just going to trim this off a little yeah. bit. Like, I want to cut it off. Make right. it a little bit shorter. I want to cut it right here. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. I'm hey, guys, and welcome back. It's been a few days since I've uh, been on. Um, last time I was on this was Sunday, but today I'm back on to show you guys how to make some simple, simple, really easy enfrijoladas um, on the go for huevones. Um, all you're going to need is a can of beans and stay tuned for the remaining uh, recipe. Okay, for them. Okay, for the enfrijoladas, you're gonna, I'm going to use a really um, just... On chicken breast that's what I have boiling in there okay and like I mentioned before we're gonna need one of these cans we're gonna need a little bit of comino and of course our tortillas okay we got a can of beans open so what we're going to do is we're going to stick it in the blender. This is also a good dish if you're on a budget. And like I said, if you're in a rush, you need to make up dinner quickly. Okay, we got it in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of comino in here to give flavor to my beans. That should be good. And then we're just going to cover this up and blend up our beans. Okay, so we have our chicken breast done, so we're going to go ahead and shred our chicken breast. So since I am also my own camera person, I'm going to go ahead and shred this myself and come back when I'm done. Okay. Then, so we're gonna go ahead let that warm up a little bit yeah it's pretty warm and we're gonna put our beans that we liquefied sorry guys okay and we're gonna stick them in here And you can use any kind of beans. Um, my husband likes black beans, so it's sort of my kids, so this is what I use. All right, so we're just gonna let those fry for a little bit, our beans. So. All right, we're gonna let that warm up and fry, whatever. And let me start. Shutting up my chicken. Okay, so I got my chicken shredded already. Now what I like to do, I like to add some Lori seasoning salt on there so it just doesn't taste plain. Just open it up. Mix it around. Sorry guys, it's really hard to record by yourself and trying to make a meal. 
All right, so that should be good. Now, keep in mind that you can make this with whatever you like. Um, you can use ground beef. Personally, me, I like cheese. Um, I usually just stuff them with cheese, but since my hus husband's a carnivore, that's why I'm making chicken today. Okay, so my beans are ready. They're nice and, you know, boiled up and fluffy, whatever. So we're going to turn this off, and then we're going to get started on our tortillas. We got our okay, so we have our oil warming up. We got our tortillas warm from the microwave. I put them in the microwave for two minutes. Nice and soft now. Okay, so we're gonna lower the temperature on our oil so it doesn't splatter everywhere. And we're gonna start frying our tortilla. Okay, we're going to continue this process until we're done with our tortillas. A little disclosure, like I mentioned before, if you are on a diet and watching your waistline, this is not meant for you. So we have our tortillas all ready. Now I have to keep in mind I have a big family. Um, it shouldn't, you know, for a regular four size family, you don't need as much as, you know, what I did. So you're gonna dip your tortilla in your beans. And that's how you're gonna want it. Then you're just gonna stuff it up with your chicken and roll it up and plate it. them with some lettuce some onion and of course some green salsa oh and some cheese queso cotija this kind of cheese ready to eat and there you have it i hope you guys like my recipe my frijoladas my very easy recipe for huevones um now you guys can always use homemade beans um I don't see I usually do because most of the time I don't have time but of course you can definitely use your frijoles de la olla to make your enfrijoladas otherwise you can take the easy way and just use canned beans um, well I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you into the next one